Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we will be continue on chapter 9 applications of differentiation. And our subtopic for today, we will be focusing on 9.2 extremum problems, but we are going to determine the type of stationary point using the second derivative test. You need to remember last lecture we already discussing the type of stationary point by using first derivative test. And also, we are going to see 9.3 application of differentiation in economics and business. So, in this lecture 3 or 4, we are going to determine the type of turning point using second derivative test. And also, we are going to apply differentiation in economics and business. At the end of the lesson, students should be able first find the local maximum or minimum point using the second derivative test. Second, express the relationship between cost, revenue and profit. And last, students should also be able to compute average cost and marginal cost, marginal revenue and marginal profit. So student, as a revision on the last lecture, we already see the methods to determine the nature of the stationary point or critical point by using the first derivative test. So, in this video, we are going to see the methods to determine the nature of the stationary point by using the second derivative test. So, the step for the method 2 are as follows as we can see here. The first method we need to find the stationary points where you need to evaluate f prime x equal to 0. Then, the second step, you need to evaluate the second derivative, d squared y over dx squared, or f double prime x of the stationary point. And then, you need to analyze the sign of the second derivative at the stationary point. So, Let's analyze the sign of the second derivative. So first, if you compute the second derivative at the stationary point and then you get greater than zero, it means that the value is positive. So the nature of the extremum will be minimum point. The concavity will be concave upward. So what you get is the smiley face. So you need to remember if greater than zero, then you get smiley face. Next, second, if you compute the second derivative, then you get the value is less than zero. It means it is negative. So the nature of the extremum will be maximum point. Concavity will be concave downward. It means the sad face. If we get negative, then we get sad face. How about if we got second derivative equal to zero? It means that test fails, so you need to use the first derivative in order to determine the nature of the point. Example one, locate the stationary points on the curve y equals to 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 1 and determine the nature of each one. First step, we differentiate the curve dy dx equals to 12x squared plus 6x minus 6. Uh, then we equate the dy dx with 0 so that we can find the values of x. Uh, before we factorize, okay, we can simplify the equations by divide all term with 6 to x square plus x minus 1. Factorize the quadratic equation to x minus 1 times x plus 1. Uh, so the value of x is 1 over 2 and negative 1. Substitute both values okay, into the curve to get the values of y. When x equals to 1 over 2, y is equals to negative 11 over 4. When x equals to negative 1, y equals to 4. 
uh, so 1 over 2 negative 11 over 4 and negative 1 4 are stationary points now we want to determine the nature of each point uh, so we want to use the second order derivative test uh, find the second order derivative for the function we differentiate dy dx one more time 24x plus 6 uh, substitute each point for the first point 1 over 2 negative 11 over 4 the value is 18 uh, so 18 is greater than 0 that means it is a minimum proceed to the next point negative 1 4 the value will be negative 18 uh, negative value it is a maximum uh, so now we can make the conclusion 1 over 2 negative 11 over 4 is a minimum point and negative 1 4 is a maximum point